How was your uh, bone marrow extraction process? It was good. Um, I got stuck like five times. This is fucking weird. Um, it's like a story. Uh, uh, I'm just typing. Um. So the lady does, you get one needle in, which is the return line, and that's a catheter type thing. It's just like a flexible piece of plastic tubing, basically. So you can kind of move that arm. <clears throat> and she does that one the first try, and then she says, like, ah, oh, something fucked up or whatever, that's not going to work. And then she tries again, and then she thinks she's got it. Alright, whatever. Two times, nothing, not a good deal. And she moves on to the other arm, which is a suction line. And that's an actual needle, and you can't move that arm at all. It has to stay stationary. So she gets all that done. And then she goes to start this whole fucking thing up, thinks everything's good. And then my fucking hand, where this uh, catheter thing is, starts to get like warm and shit. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. And then I, and then it starts to get like hot. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I look at my hand, right below my thumb on my palm. There's like a portion of that is, it's pulsing. It went like just a block of it, like it was irregularly shaped and all, but just a section of that goes completely white, and then it 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 pulses back from white to red. It just pulses back and forth as it's getting hotter and hotter. Uh, and then I look sucks. down again. And a, a big block on my wrist is doing the same thing. I was like, um, yeah, this, I don't think this is right. And, and she looks at it. She's like, oh my god. And she like pauses the machine. And she's like, she's like, I've never seen that happen before. Like, That's what you want to hear from a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a nurse. There's no doctors there, but she's like, oh, I've never seen that before. And she's like, what the fuck? And like that, I think, is normal. In a case where it would have been like up my arm further in like a little section, I think, where the needle was, I think they said, or it would just swell. And that was for some reason, I don't know why. But they all were like, every, there was like four different nurses that came, and none of them had ever seen it before. And then they That's tried, sure. they, they called this lady um, from another uh, floor department. And she's like, oh, Sue's, Sue, I think her name is Sue. She's like, oh, she's great. She's she's like our savior. She can get blood out of a rock or something. Mind you, I have very good veins. And they all had, like said it. Like They're all like, oh, you have really good veins. This will be easy, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and this lady comes up. She, does, she uses a different type of IV that she likes. And she's further up my arm. And she does it like right away. It didn't hurt or anything, and it was fine. And they start the machine back up, and everything seems good for like a minute or two. She's like, all right, I'm out. Literally, as soon as she's she's out, the machine just starts beeping like, nope, this isn't gonna work. Nope, nope, nope. So like, this is the third or fourth time. I forget. I swear they they poked me five times, which I didn't mind. It was just like, we can't just keep stabbing me and then hoping this is gonna work. Like, let's think this through. Let's let's get an idea of what's going on here. And then they call this other lady, who I think is some sort of like uh, trainer or something for like nurses or I don't know, because the other nurse who was kind of like being trained through this, it, it wasn't it was one of her like first times I assume doing this, and um, so she's like uh, she likes these type of IVs because these are the ones she's been training us with. So I was like, oh okay, this lady's gonna be good. And she was cool, she's fucking with me, like, messing with me, like, talking while she's doing it, and she just, she's, like, naming veins, looking at them all. She's like, oh, this one will be good, this one works, and she did it, and it ended up working fine, like, all, like, all, uh, the whole time. But, like, it was at least four or five times that they fucking had to go in with this damn catheter thing. And, so, I had to have a mask on, and the one nurse had to have a mask on while they're doing all this. So she didn't have her glasses on, and later on, um, 
like after this all happened she like got nervous because like she was just upset that they, they had to keep doing it and it didn't just work which I got because the one there said something to her she's like oh and she's like she was like shaking kind of she's like oh I'm stressed out about this <laughs> and she then after she took her mask off she put her glasses on and she had said something to me while she was doing it and hers were the one that actually kind of hurt and she said something to me like, oh yeah, I wish I had my glasses or something. Oh my god. Um, but I'm then she said something about... Yeah, but she then <laughs> said something about contacts. So I just assumed she had her contacts in or whatever, because I don't like to watch them do it. So I'll just kind of look away and like, just sit there. And it, it doesn't hurt a little bit, it's just enough that I don't want to like, think about it. So I just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, she just put her glasses right on immediately. So I'm like, wait, this lady probably didn't have contacts or anything in while she was doing all of this. And hers fucking hurt. But once the yeah, one lady... No, you know why. <laughs> yeah, once the one lady... They're all really nice and cool. But once the one lady got it in, it ended up working, and there was no problems after that. They just had to adjust the machine a little bit. Um, so they, they take your bone marrow through your veins? Like, how does that work? It's two stem cells. They um, oh, okay. they but, they give you like from Friday till today. I had to go every day to get these injections, and every there's there's two of them. Just they have to give them to the, a certain amount depending on weight and then like whatever they need for the the recipient stuff. But I had to get like 900 micrograms or something, which they have to do it in two shots, and. Friday to today, I had to every day I go get those. But that makes your body create more like stem cells or white blood cells or whatever. And that's all trapped inside your bones. But they found that some of that, a small portion, actually gets released into your bloodstream. So they make your body crank out a bunch of them. And then they're able to take it out through your blood through a uh, like a dialysis kind of machine. And they take it out, they put it through this, circulate it, and then they put it back into you. Whatever, they put what they didn't take back into you. <laughs> the one lady, the one lady that, uh, um, he's been doing it for years, and like when it happened, she's like, I've never seen that ever. <laughs> she, she what the fuck are they talking about? Uh, but the other nurse said, uh, I forget how they got on of it. Their, their neighbor, they had a tree kind of like in both of their properties or something, and he cuts down trees for a living. So he asked them if he'd mind cutting it down, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, I don't know what to get him. I think like I was just going to get him like a like a six pack of beer and like some cookies or something or whatever. And they're like, what do you mean? Like he's cutting down a fucking huge tree for you. Like he's, he's thousands of dollars. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. She, and then the one there's without hesitation, totally calmly says this like it was no big thing she's like yeah i got my neighbor next door a, like a six pack after my dog ate his cat and we all just stopped and <laughs> cracked up We're like what the fuck did you just say <laughs> so your dog ate your neighbor's cat <laughs> then you got him a six pack of beer <laughs> yeah. they were good, really right? become, a become a card sorry my dog ate your cat best wishes yeah, it was it was so goddamn fun. I was they were like putting a needle on me. I just started cracking up because it was so fucking funny. <laughs> it was really oh, the dog funny. just like killed the cat, but she said it so calm. Like yeah, my dog ate the neighbor's cat. <laughs> Fuck. 